Hi guys, welcome back. This is one of my favorite look for less projects. I took it from Cherry Wood and stained it to this black color. I did it all for under $30, so I like that. I'm no furniture staining professional. I don't plan projects out too much. <laughs> I really just get excited and I jump into them, so I buy my supplies, I watch a couple tutorials on YouTube, and then five minutes later I'm in my garage like with an electric sander. That's just me. I'm not gonna say it was easy, but once I share the steps with you, it'll be much easier than it was for me. I kind of learned as I went along. If you're interested in how I stained a table, please keep watching. Now it's time to apply the top coat, which I'm gonna talk you through a little bit. I chose a matte finish by Rust-Oleum. So once you get this opened, you're gonna to wanna to stir it really well to avoid bubbles. Whatever you do, do not shake it. And then using a foam brush, you're gonna to wanna to apply a really generous coat, but not too thick because you're gonna do this a couple times. And when you're applying, brush back over the same stroke to avoid bubbles. To get the edges, I found glopping on the poly worked best and then smoothing it out. Let the surface dry. This took about an hour when I left the table outside. And then using an extra fine steel wool, you're gonna wanna go over the surface. This will remove any bit of bubbles that were left over. I wore thick gloves to protect my hands. I'd recommend doing that just so you don't get any bit of steel in your skin. Okay, you're almost there. Now you just wipe down the table with a damp cloth and repeat the same process with another coat of polyurethane. Lastly, I chose to spray paint the legs of this table. And that, my friends, is it. Now you've got a beautiful piece of furniture that can revive any type of thrift store find or even something you already have in your house that just doesn't go with your style anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a comment below, and especially if you use these techniques to stain anything in your house, let me know. I would love to see photos and hear about your experience. So be sure to click subscribe to my channel because I'll have lots more DIY videos coming your way.